Hey, how, how's it going? <laughs> I've got fired. No, I've got a day off today. Hey, Dr. Wiggle, uh, Yiggles, in my system, man. Welcome in. Not fired yet. Just a couple of spare hours to uh, break out another game. So uh, I've never played this all the way through. I've played bits of it. Should we go to see if the audio is working? Because this has cartridge audio, doesn't it? I think there's audio in there as you get to the game. Um, but yeah, welcome in. Um, I've heard this is quite straightforward all the way through until you get like the last castle. Uh, and then it gets harder, but we'll see. Uh, not new game. Uh, you've drawn the short straw today. You're keeping me company while I make steak pie. <laughs> what else is that? Oh, uh, no. You're the cook. That seems really quiet. I'm going to put the volume up a little bit today. Welcome in, Corona. How's it going? Let me, let me give you a shout out. My keyboard's not asleep yet, yeah, because I've just started. Sweet. What are you playing today? I think you're playing all sorts, right? I think I just caught you playing um, what it looked like, looked like Star Fox, but it's probably, it might have been something else. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, how's it going? Welcome in, Raiders. Uh, we're about to get started with um, Super Mario Land 2. Uh, I'm playing the Super Game Boy. Let me just grab the, the box. Oh, is it? Why did that go on? That's really strange. Okay, it should be off now. I normally have a bot come in and turn it off, but maybe something went wrong. I've literally just started, so it's, it's probably this broken. Um, it should be off now. Don't need to defend against everyone. <laughs> Alright, maybe I press it by accident. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, and thank you again for the raid. Really appreciate it. Um, hope you had a good stream this morning. Or evening. Um, just gonna grab the game. Oh. Yeah, how to get started. Um, this is this is Mario Land 2. This is the one I'm playing. Six golden coins. I played bits of it, never all the way through, so I'm going to sit down and play it properly today. Um, we're playing on the Super NT um, via the Super Game Boy. Not the Super Game Boy 2, because for some reason, the Super Game Boy 2 has a like an incompatibility with the Super NT. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a Reddit thread about it. It, it kind of flick when you put the game on it, it just flickers. The Super Game Boy did it a little bit as well, but I changed like some of the settings and it, it fixed it. Um, so we've got to play the, the old Super Game Boy, which I think, I think it means the audio is just a little bit sped up. Some kind of sync issue, but... Yeah, I've emailed uh, Analog Support, so maybe they can give me an update to see if they're going to fix that. I hope so. <laughs> Kinky Biscuit. They had a great time, dude. That Steam OS PC is playing just like I'd expect. A next-gen console, too. Oh, nice. That's what you're doing, is it? Was that that... So was that Star Fox, or was that that, um... That new one you were playing the other week? I forget what it's called. It was like a tribute to Star Fox. I know what I mean. But yeah, that's really cool. If you're playing modern games, maybe, maybe you can get uh, Helldivers 2 and play with me. <laughs> The new fan game. All right, nice. Yeah, that's the one I, I thought you were playing the other day. Sweet. Okay. Looking at it earlier, well, Hell Divers Two. It looks really, really funny. It looks really fun. Um, I, think, well, I say it looks really fun. I played it a little bit, and it was really fun because it's like, on one hand, you've got Starship Troopers because you've got like the the bug planets, and then on the other hand, it's like Terminator because you've got like robot planets. It's really fun. Um, but yeah, I've been playing with randoms. I haven't got like um, I don't think I've got many friends on PlayStation Network. Yeah, Doctor Doctor Eagles is gonna play with me over the weekend. 
actually have mechs unlocked by this evening, I reckon. Oh wow. Don't like I've gotta go I've gotta gradually introduce myself to all the mechanics, cause uh, at the moment <laughs> it's a bit dicey because you gotta punch in the directional codes to uh, activate stuff. It's really weird. Uh hey Shiro. Come on end of the end of the stream. <laughs> you came in over the, with the raid. Um, I have forty dollars in right now, so it's me or Hell Dive. <laughs> so I'll get it. <laughs> yeah, they'll probably discount it, right? Um, I think there's crossplay as well between Steam and PlayStation, just not cross progression, which is a little annoying. But yeah. <laughs> and yeah, you go rest up, Cool Runner. Thanks again for the for the raid, and uh, maybe I'll catch you later. Appreciate it, dude. I've never played this through properly, I've played bits of it. Um, I don't think I've been very far in it. But yeah, we're, not, we're not playing DX version or anything fancy, this is the original cartridge. Um, my original cartridge. Um, perfect place, and a fucking amazing game. I was getting so much. Yeah, you played, you, you, I think you sent me the DX version. I had the, I've got the DX version ROM on my desktop, so I think I think you might have sent me it. You sent me a few. Yeah, I'm using I want to use the, the original cart, so we've just got the, the Super Game Boy colorization going on. Yeah. I'll tell you what I do need to do. Swap the buttons over, because that's, an, that's annoying. Hold on. I think I prefer the other control scheme on this. Type A. Yeah. Uh, the Goombas look like frogs. They kind of move like it as well, don't they? They're weird. Um, because everyone should play the original and the DX version. You gotta play both. I'll probably play this on my Game Boy Pocket soon. Nice. Yeah, I, I've, I briefly played this a bit. I, I played it on the Analog Pocket a little bit, little bit but not very far. Um, kind of wanted to save it for streams. There we go, I'll swap the buttons around. I, I prefer this. Yeah, I hear it's not too difficult all the way through until you get to like, um, Wario's Castle. I didn't even know Wario was the final boss until I read that. <laughs> it's definitely a huge step up from Mario Land 1, which is not a bad game. Mario Land 1 is awesome, but it's... Like, it's got nothing on this, right? It doesn't look anything like this. Is that like a checkpoint? I don't know. Could look in the, in the manual, but I'm too lazy. Ah, so how do I do that? Jumping down. Do like a Mario World spin. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's great stream material, I'm glad you did. Uh, there's a couple of odd parts, but it's a pretty fun and breezy game. It feels like a Kirby Mario game in a very good way. Yeah, that, that is. I enjoyed um, Kirby's Dreamland on on Game Boy. I think we played that on the, the GameCube rather than uh, on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, my GameCube's not plugged in. Not too late to set up. <laughs> This just works. I don't have to mess around with any scaling or anything on this. This just works. Yeah, bring the, the other bell must have been the checkpoint. Sweet. The sound of Mario Fireballs will never s not soothe the soul. <laughs> I just had to go. To, I had to go. Uh, have a good run and take the take these. Not safe to go. <laughs> thanks for the good luck. Yeah, anyway, thanks again for the raid. Uh, I hope we catch you again later. Um, yeah, appreciate it. Be lurking in my sleep. You'll be you'll be dreaming the noises. Oh, this is pretty open. Look, we can go anywhere. Let's go to this castle. Tree zone. Okay. 
Yeah, they've got the perfect uh, fireball noise. It's actually... Is it a cross between Mario 3 and Mario World? Because, like, the sound effects and the sprites look like Mario 3, but you've also got that spinny... spinny jump, haven't you? Which is Mario World. I don't know the timing. I think this is 92. Both. What did let us do then? Pretend I'm watching a stream through Mario Land 2, yeah. Nice. The like, world and free is so good. Uh, I really like how the rabbit ears work too. It's such a fun fight flight power up. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that. It's like a glide, isn't it? What do I do? Oh. I got the, the rabbit. Oh, we got the ears, no? There we go. You don't get like the raccoon tail to swing on and hit people, but it looks like you can. Oh, that's, that's quite cool. Yeah, you can hover. It's quite a long hover as well. That seems to be longer than like raccoon flight. <laughs> this is like a butt. Does that kill you or does it make you bounce? Yellow. Wait, I shouldn't have messed around. Alright, you get stuck in it. <laughs> I am not even gonna ask what that thing is. Uh can I not do the Can I not do the spin jump now? No, it looks like you can't. Oh I've messed up now. Okay, you've got to go in a little bit to jump. There you go. You can hover as long as your thumb can hold out. No, I think you go down slowly, look. You do start to lose air. Oh wait, am I wrong? Let's keep tapping. Okay, if you can tap it really, really fast, you can hover in place. <laughs> if, you, if you've got a turbo button, you can hover in place. Oh, this is weird. Keep this. Since there's spikes everywhere, it's probably a good shot. You've got this, you've done the Ocelot. What? You've got this, you've done the Ocelot interrogation of Metal Gear Solid. Goddamn fun workout. I haven't played that in freaking years. I played that on the. I, I played that. 
when we only had the PlayStation. That was years ago. I don't think I've played it since. The, the best bit is when you have to change controller ports <laughs> against the ninja guy. That was mind blowing when that happened. Uh, what's going on? We didn't go in the tree. We've gone over here. Okay. There's like multiple paths. I'm gonna keep the flying. They surprisingly managed to keep the controller port switch against Psychomantis in the recent ports. And played recently in the... How did that work in... Wait a minute. How did they do it in the PS5 port? You don't have... You don't have, like, a, a dedicated port anymore. You just have, like, two controllers connected, right? Do you just have to swap controllers or something? Artificial ports, you hit pause and switch ball. <laughs> that's that's a bit silly. <laughs> sure they could have modernized that. Made you buy a second controller. <laughs> you can't beat the game. <laughs> would've worked for, uh, would've worked brilliantly for hardware sales. I've done this level. I think I've gone back to the same level. Maybe there must be two exits. We didn't go into the tree, did we? We went on a different level. I thought I messed up the map. Let's keep an eye out, because there was a there was a, a lower bit at the end. Maybe this went wrong. I don't know. Let's find out. Also, region memory card uh, for other Konami games. <laughs> There's something that way. Down the bottom there. Oh, is that where I'm going? I'm not sure actually. I went there. I went out that door up there, that pipe. So there must be another route out. So there's a way there. There's a pipe here. I mean. Oh, I'll take this. Take it. Eleven lives. Sweet. Okay, this must be another route out. There's more. There is more level. Should I keep going? Oh, the goal's here. So I did I did I just Maybe I didn't get to the goal then. I must have it's exited through a secret door. So that's a bit like Mario World as well, with multiple exits off stages. Put it back. No, <laughs> oh, that's disappointing. One of the lives. We're up the tree now, though. Bees or ants? Choose your poison. Let's take, let's take the ants because we've got firepower.
sure she has a Pokemon. It's lucky. <laughs> they lost my foot then. Oh, I didn't know that was there. I was just trying to get them across the hole without messing up. This time. Take that. Uh, oh. Flies everywhere. Oh, shit. <laughs> Managed to get across there. It's very generous with the lives so far. They seem to be going the direction of the start. Oh, fun. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Can I get back up? I did a loop again. This is why I need rabbit ears, because uh, <laughs> it corrects your fuck ups. Uh, this game is pleasant. Yeah, it is. It's very cheerful. I've been playing some cheerful games this week. I've been playing. Uh, I played Chippendale 1 and 2 last night. I beat both of them. They were very, very pleasant and uh, quite easy, actually. Hey, Emil. Are you not entertained? Okay, that platform caught me off last time because it uh, swapped directions when I jumped. Do I want that? Yeah, I do. Been living in existential dread in Metro Exodus. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit darker, isn't it? Um, need some some cheer. You can just put cheerful music on and just pretend that it's cheerful, right? Put a light on. <laughs> Be thou not entertaineth. Nice. Uh, grated cheddar and red Leicester mix with mayo and hot sauce for lunch. Great. So just just cheese and, and mayo, mayo, not on on toast or anything. Or just just straight up cheese fix. Sneak. Good job I had the ears, because they're trying to trick me. I didn't know the box was there. Made it. I just had a panini for dinner. Bread and some. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense there. You <laughs> missed the bread. Bread is the, the, the thing that binds it all together. Yeah, give me them lives. Oh yeah. Playing Metro for Momo in prep for the VR one they got announced. Okay, so this is going to go straight on to the boss. Uh, retro pick up of the week, Emil. Yeah, why not? I, I actually did get a game. The one I told you or told everyone about last night. I was waiting to come. It came today. Uh, go on in. Retro pickups of the week. I got myself a copy from America. I had to import it because um, I think it's rarer and more expensive um, from PAL. Uh, but we've got Journey to Cilius. I love this game. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's, it's like up the shrink wrap on. I don't know if it's the original shrink wrap, but it's got shrink wrap on. Uh, and we've got. A working cart, which I have verified is real by taking it apart, uh, and then the manual. The manual's not terrible. It's just got you know when you know when you get like Master System games and they have like those uh, brown stains on them. It's got some stain in, but it's, it's, it's okay. It's, you can't really see it on camera. 
Um, a little bit of brown stain. I, I daren't try and clear that off. I think I'd probably ruin it. Um, but yeah, Journey of the Silliest, if you haven't played it, it's fucking awesome. It's um, another Sunsoft game. It's got some cha <laughs> got many challenging bits, including some really horrible conveyor belts and jumps near the end. Uh, but it's a really, really top-notch game. So if you haven't played Journey to Silius, it's good. No, not so much. It, it's it's on the pricey side, but it's it's not the most expensive game I've seen. Like I think uh, Cart only thirty, forty, maybe. But yeah, that's that's the one. And yeah, this is American. This has got the oval seal. It's a US import. Yeah, good game though. First time seeing you in a black shirt, I think. Is it new? Oh yeah, this is a Team Rocket shirt. <laughs> it's, it's a Christmas present. Alright then, should we just go on to this... What's that say? Oh, tree zone, and then... Fighting the bird. Are we fighting the bird? Keep this. Team Rocket Blast up the speed of light. Surrender now, prepare to fight. Yeah, exactly. Put so many hours into the Pokemon games. I want to play it. I'm going to play some of the ones um, I didn't originally play, like the, the variants at some point. I want to play Crystal and Emerald. My first was blue. Blue people in the house. Ha 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 ha. In Swedish, it was Team Rocker, Injun, comma, Undan, Os. <laughs> the A with the thing on top. Hold on, how do you say that? It's like eh, isn't it? Seg. Get new up. Ella Bougia. This is total guess. I don't know. I don't know the letters. I need the cheat sheet of the letters with the, with the amulets on them. Knew that's going to be one up. I'll do the dance spin in this. Right. It's like coffee. <laughs> Too much coffee today. <laughs> oh shit, I fell in. Oh no. That's alright, there's a platform. Uh, I don't know if this carry on this way now. These gumbas have got proper mono brows. No! It's the first step I've taken. I can't rely on flying to uh, wing these platforms anymore. <laughs> A is like or, but the R is silent. Uh? Gonna come towards you, right? Okay. If I stand here, I should be able to jump on his head. There we go. So I heard if you game over on this, you lose all the stars you collect and have to go fight these bosses again, but it's just an inconvenience because the bosses aren't very hard. Uh, yeah, it was, it was alright. More like, or. Oh, bad, more or less. Okay. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Thanks, GG. One down. I've got a little flag above it. Okay, so we can go somewhere else. Though. So it's, it's like a completely open overworld. I guess you can do any level you want in any order. It's pretty good. How long you stream for? I have to, have to work for a bit. Uh... Two hours, 
probably two hours. In two hours. But yeah, if you have to go look, look. I, I appreciate it anyway. Hope work isn't too much of a bore. Or a chore. What's this? Uh, well, I don't know what this does. I've got 200 coins, see what happens. Oh, it's a slot machine. Nice. Well, enjoy. Just one up. For 200 coins, that was quite poor value. Uh, I can afford this one. Meh, it's fine. Okay, so the hill is a slot machine game. Um, let's go up this way. It's a level there, or we can go... Let's do the hippos. Hippo stage. Is the hippo alive? What the hell? Okay, we can fly. Does it pop when you get hit, I guess? Oh, you can actually fly. It does go up. That definitely would have popped. <laughs> so I must need to stay out of the water then. Longer presses and tapping. Looks like you get more air if you do a longer press. So don't tap it, whack it. Oh, you hold it. Okay, sorry, that's wrong. You hold it to go up, but you get like a. It's, it doesn't go straight away. I see. Two goals. All right, so you get here. It's probably a better goal, isn't it? Because you've got the bubble all the way to the end. Okay, I don't know if there's a actual pattern. I think it's luck. Slut. Space zone. Wow. It's low gravity like one of the game genie cheats on the Mario 3. <laughs> you just try them. If you, you just have game genie, you can just enable funky shit like stupidly high jumps or uh, Zero gravity is really cool. Didn't really help at the end though, but yeah, it was fun. Jump on that. Oh. Just had to go for that because I didn't know. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, wasn't sure if there's only a pit. Jump the run, jump. 
loads more air if you hold down run. music on the stage. It's very cheerful, isn't it? Ooh. What's this then? I'm not sure if I got quite enough air on that one. I did. Secret exit. Alright, I have to do this level again then, that's fine. Go to a secret level. Secrets. <laughs> Moon's not happy. Two lives down there. Oh, can I, can I get them? Let's see if I can do a little run. I don't think I can. Come on, get right to the edge. I think I'm stuck down there now. Aww. Aww, so close. I want them. Two lives there. Is there no, no way up. Wait, you've got to remember which hole to go down to get them. If you go down the wrong one, you're not going to get back up, are you? Ah, oh, I didn't count, so there's no point. I'd need to count how many how many gaps. I think we some there as well, I want that. Alright, I'm going to go back to the... I'm counting out. Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's a 9 from the far end. Maybe. Oh, you can't even get out. How do you do this then? Can't get through here. Yeah? I guess I'm. Just, oh, I guess I messed up. Got that exit the level. I don't know what that star does. I'm curious. I'll do it again. Let's see if I can get it. Can I go back? Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I went on the level. I think you can exit levels, can you? Oh, that's my fault. I messed up. I was trying to go back up that path and I pressed the, the <laughs> entered level button, obviously. I, I didn't know how to do it. Never mind. There was a secret exit on this one as well, actually, wasn't there? Because there was a lower path and a higher path. So I could just go that way and see what's there. Might be worth checking out. Down here. Let's see where it goes. <laughs> another direction. Macros. Oh, we're tiny. I want to go back to the space zone, though. We didn't finish that. How do we go back? I see. Okay, 
It's a little bit mazy. Uh, but yeah, I've done this level, so... Okay, okay, to get back to the space zone, you have to do the level. Okay. So I shouldn't have exited, that was my fault. Alright, well, I'll do it again. Maybe there's multiple paths to get to places. Big. No, it's the carrot. Okay, so here again. You can't go right again, you have to exit the level, so I'm on this level. This time I want to go at the other exit. The proper exit to go to the next level. Oh, I we could jump on them. Could all the one ups come, come back? So I guess you could technically farm lives. 121. I, I think we're okay at the moment. Route. I, oh yeah, I went up the I went up the top platforms, didn't I? I missed all this, so I went the top way and missed this goal completely. Oh, that's, that's okay. So I've got here and jump across to it. Maybe from this platform. Juicy freeze. Oh, 
All the stars are enemy. I thought they were collectibles. So I saw one on the special stage. Now they look angry, don't they? Like the angry sun in uh, Mario 3. I don't know if I'm... Can you jump on them? Because they, they've, got, they've got spikes. So I'm not sure if you can jump on them or not. Unless they are platforms. I, I'm not actually sure. Should I try jumping on one? I don't know what's uh, safe and what's not. But they're kind of arranged like platforms, I guess. I'm not sure. Let's just assume they're bad. I wouldn't want to land on a star. Oh shit, uh, I've got to do something. Oh, you can... Oh, you can fly on this level. You can hold down the button and, like, do proper anti-gravity. It's like swimming level. I didn't know that. I didn't know this. Now I know. So they are things to avoid. Okay. That makes more sense. Try to get in there. So if you get to do it a game over, I think you have to do the bosses again. Maybe from the midpoint, because there was a, a bell. It's would be easier if I had a fire power, but never mind. So I guess I gotta wait for him to... Alright, we can just hide. And then he'll come like, ah! And I mess up. I'm supposed to jump on his head. <laughs> that ended badly. Box. <laughs> Alright, he's a little bit trickier than the last one. I just don't know the pattern to how to avoid it properly. Okay, I finished just at the edge. Because it's it should be easy to jump on him. So he jumps. He goes after this one, don't he? So let's do a big jump. Land on his head then. That's, that's, that's a better way, isn't it? That's a sensible way. If we just stand here, so he fires... Well, he fired twice that time, but we can just stay... That's it. He got me, though. I don't know how he got me. There we go. He's got to wet the edges. Same as the, the bird. Stay at the edges. And this game does have a save battery, so it, I, I guess it just uh, remembers how many of the levels you've done, how many of the stars you've collected. Could do the macro soon, it sounds amazing. Right. Are we tiny? This is normal size.
We're already in Fort, but Fort Giant Ants. Does that mean they're normal sized ants before? Because they were this big. Didn't see that coming. Has anyone got any raid? Dingo. We'll pause this. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, Freddy Dingo. How is the rest of the stream? Good to see you. Thank you. Uh, I'm just gonna do a shouty. Sorry, it's taken a while for my keyboard to wake up. <laughs> How's it going? Welcome in. I'll do a proper one as well. It's got, it's got a t the discipline bar's gone up a little bit. Look, look, look. How is Hogs and Wolves? That's, that's what you're supposed to do. Hey, Dan Karen. Welcome in. Time I got you. <laughs> it's, Jap it's Japanese parenting, isn't it? Did you finish Blazing Lasers yet? Yeah. Got the raid message. Watching Japanese I've... stuff. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you for the, so thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in everyone. I'm playing uh, Super Mario Land 2 today. Six golden coins. Uh, and we're playing on the the Game Boy Player. No, sorry, the Super Game Boy on the Super NT. Uh, so a bit of original hardware, a bit of modern hardware. Um, yeah, this is my first playthrough, like all the way through. I played little bits of it, but never properly played it. So um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I hope you had a really great stream, Freddy, and, and welcome again. I hope you enjoyed Hogs of War. I assume you played that many times before. I love that game. I used to play that with uh, brother. Um, there used to be many fights about who dies, <laughs> who wins. Uh, I'm about 76% through uh, Blazing Dragons. I said Blazing Lasers, didn't I? Yeah, Blazing Dragons. Nice. Seems like quite a long game then. Uh, did I miss much? I've done... So I've done the space levels and I've done the... Um, the, the, the tree level. So I'm just starting the macro world with like giant ants, it seems. Uh, so I don't think you missed too much. I've just got two of the, the, the six golden coins so far. Um, but it's going well, I think. I've got eight, 18 lives. Seems like a, a good man. He's a sneaky ant. There we go. I had to hide you under a pillow like a dirty secret when you go. <laughs> yeah, do that. Don't want them taking the pee out of me. Sneaky spiky ants. They don't exist in the natural world. Wait a minute, I can't... Surely I can't land on that platform. There's spikes. Do you think it's safe? Okay, it's safe. <laughs> the sprites come out of the, the platform like I'm gonna get killed, but... Maybe it's okay. Um, the secret is safe. Yeah, good. Did I just see something? Now they've got artillery now. I've seen this before. It's really, really uh, a cheerful game so far, and the, the quality is immensely better than Super Mario uh, Land One, which is the one I, I played more. The little pyramid level at the beginning. Yeah, it's like a cross between Mario World and Mario Three, kinda. Elements from both. Maryland 1 and 2 are very different games. I love them. But yeah, they're immensely different, aren't they? They've really ramped up like what they've done in this one. Loads more variety. I'm terrible at Super Mario Land 1. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. I think it's because I tried to rush. You just, you just tempted to hold down the run button and just go for it. Which usually ends badly. 
<laughs> it's, it's, it feels like it's the way it's meant to be played. But yeah, I know I've beaten this one. I didn't realise uh, Wario was the, the villain in this one either. Because I know the Mario Land 3 is Wario. The first Wario Land game. Hey, welcome in board game heaven. <laughs> There's the Wario mode. Sweet, I've got one of them as well actually. Have I got a Wario? I think I've got a Wario. Oh yeah, I've got the, the what? What? <laughs> Hello, welcome in. Did you come in with the with the Freddy Freddy Dingo raid? Oh, I want to keep the ears. I'd rather keep the, uh, the ears. That's definitely a Pokemon, by the way. Was it Heracross? I think that sounds familiar. I think that sounds right. It's not really a Pokemon. It's a bug, but you know what I mean. Is it Heracross? No, I think I got the wrong one. I think I got the wrong name. It doesn't matter. It's not that really, anyway. <laughs> Did indeed. Excellent. Uh, I completed this on holiday in Mallorca and annoyed my family by insisting that I watch the ending. <laughs> That sounds like a that sounds like a like relaxing in the sun playing. Wait a minute, was this really back in the day? How the hell did you see the screen? You tried playing the Game Boy in sunlight. It's like hard mode. Kudos, but that, that sounds <laughs> that sounds impossible. I was in the hotel at the time. Okay, fair enough. I gonna say, if you're in bright sunlight or dark, you can't play it. You have to have the perfect conditions to play this on the, on the old Game Boy. It's got a little fancy plug-in light, which doesn't really help. It just makes it, it puts glare on the screen. No, I think it must have aged because they the screens tend the screens like look worse now. They must just be aged, because I know that the game gears also look absolutely terrible now. You just can't see anything on the screen, but I, I don't think they were that bad back in it. I don't think they were that bad originally. And this is just, you know, rose tinted glasses. I don't know. Well, thank you for the follow. Um, being in Mallorca once as a kid, fun place. Uh, Dog Deals, the stars must align for that fucker. I used to hate a car ride home at night playing Pokemon. I mean, we, we there was a, we made it work, right? It was still alright, it was still kind of playable, just problematic in the sun. <laughs> still worked. I'm spoiled now. Oh, bugger. Oh, what's this? Any more? Any more for any more? Yeah, this one. Any more? No. Yeah. We tried. Yeah, got these kids with their consoles and just work. Old man yells at Clyde. <laughs> Boys. I think this is purely luck. Yeah, we're not getting a life. Oh, actually, we are going to get a life. And we're getting a life. Nice. What up? Sweet. So we're playing with the Super Game Boy today. Um, I said I was playing it through the Super NT. I tried using the Super Game Boy 2, which has... Um, I think the Super Game Boy 1 has slightly sped up audio. It's not quite authentic. Um, but I tried the Super Game Boy 2 and it doesn't work with the <laughs> Super NT properly, it flickers. I've reported it to Analog to see if they, like, are working on a fix, because it was reported, like, seven months ago on Reddit. Hopefully, I like the Super Game Boy 2, it's, it's, it's clear plastic. Blue. What do these do? How's that conveyor belt? Thank you. 
That could end it badly. Should I? There's another platform here. There it is. Oh, that comes from everybody down uh, on this. Everyone's down on the Super Game Boy One. I've never had any complaints. No, you wouldn't notice. If you, you would literally not notice. Um, I think it's just slightly sped up, and I think there's like a, a street, a very slight screen tear an issue, like because of the, I don't know, sync, refresh rate, or whatever. I never noticed. Well, the Super Game Boy 2 is, is, is nice. It's, it's, it's like blue plastic. Clear blue plastic and it's got the the um, link cable port as well. Not the, <laughs> not that I've ever had a use to need... Not, not that I've ever had a reason to use it, but it's there. I've heard you can mod the first one to fix it. Just change capacitor or something in it. Do something. Hey, space robot arm. How are you doing? Welcome in. It's good to see you. Maybe I can make it. Oh, I can make it away. I can't go that way. We're in the chimney stack. I think we are. Where them lives? This one. I'm feeling it. No. Ah, oh, didn't want that. Doing it right over here, just slowly get my day started. Nice. Welcome in. Um, I'm gonna do a shout out as well. Space for um, very cozy streams. <laughs> Variety of retro stuff. It's a cool collection too. Check him out. Um, and the macros are not there still. It's a lot of 82s. Okay, I think that means it's a boss, right? If it's the green, okay, it was green thing. Take me out. Oh yeah, I did hear. I did. I saw your message as well. I, I saw on um on the news feed this morning. It's sad, isn't it? Yeah. You're still heavily involved as well, right? I think it was involved in uh, in Super. I'm not sure. I forget. Yeah, no problem. I'll take it. Wait, yeah, 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 what are you doing? That little witch thing's taken my, my life. Stop. <laughs> it's a trap, it's trying to trick me. A uh, new game of his Sandland isn't out yet, I don't think. I don't know what that is. Uh, apparently, had a lot of stuff going on. Sandland, I've heard of that. Ten years. Steal my things. And I'm back to 21 lives. I, I lost. Oh shit. I lost a couple in the uh, the space level. That was a noob. Oh, 
I like the little squeaky noises in the in the music track. <laughs> if we've done done a lot with the, the four bits of sound quality you get. All right, boss. Um, I'm gonna come out the pipes. That's nice. Stand in the middle and wait. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Okay, he does like a loop. You know you have to hit him t three times, right? If I stand here, can he get me? Yes, because he's got a freaking sm spike on his nose. Um, looks janky is the best. All oh, right. Right. Ideally, we can find uh, a little mushroom on the way. The last boss was the last two bosses have been the first one was really really easy. The second one you had to do a little bit of work, but it was fairly straightforward. I just gotta learn their patterns. I don't play this before, so this is all new to me. Hey Chief Nuts, welcome, happy Friday. Okay, so you gotta hit him before he goes up the walls. If he goes up the walls, he'll uh, stab you in the face. I think you're running out. I was gonna say, I think he goes. I'm just not gonna talk, so I'm gonna jinx myself. Hold on. Shit. Yeah, I should have run to the left. There we go. Not that bad. <laughs> you can. Uh, so you've, you've never heard of the spike nose rap rat? No. <laughs> Guess I missed out on that. Thanks, GG. I think it's funny. I think if you game over on this, you just have to get go back to the boss stages and get the coins again. Um, but I don't think you have to do all the levels again. That'd be that'd be silly. It saves your progress anyway, right? Thanks, GGs, Chief Nuts. Um, okay, so we've got to find the next level now. Pumpkin. Pumpkin looks like a level. Pumpkin zone. Did you finish uh, Batman Returns, by the way? The last boss was ridiculous. I did finish Batman Returns, thanks for remembering. Um, and yeah, the last boss was ridiculous until I saw a playthrough of it and saw that actually how I was playing it was ridiculous. <laughs> and there was a there was a very simple way of avoiding it. It was literally just to stand on the left and none of the bombs can hit you. So I, yeah, I did. I finished it in the stream after it took a, took a little while. But um, yeah, that final level was harder than the boss in the end. But yeah, it's done. Thank you. Um, I put it in the spreadsheet. If, you, if you're not aware, I'm, I'm trying to do 100 games, like beat 100 games this year. Uh, and I'm putting a, spread, I'm putting a spreadsheet as a go. I'm on 17? 17 so far? Yeah. Behind behind target, behind schedule, but we're getting there. Uh, this is one of the games that I borrowed from my cousin as a kid and still have. <laughs> a bonus. Yeah, I've got a copy of this This one. It's, uh, it's a really nice box art, actually. I think all the Mario Land games and Wario games have a nice box on it. Oh, thanks, Freddy. Yeah, that game was alright. I think it was alright. I think I was being, um... <laughs> just being a wuss. <laughs> I gave up too soon. But yeah, I, if I'd watched a playthrough before, I think I would have done it a lot sooner. I ended up getting to the final boss with like nine lives in, t in place, so um, even though if I did get hit a few times, I was alright. But yeah, one of the best games on Master System, it seems. Like I'm, I'm, as I beat them, I'm putting them to the like, I'm ranking them on my shelf of how much I like each one. Um, it's over on the left. I think Wonder Boy is a little bit in front of it and Master of Darkness, but it's one of the good ones. Let's see, don't need to organise by alphabetical. You need to organise by how good they are. <laughs> and then put the bad ones at the back. 
Out of sight. That's how I'm doing it. Can I go up there? No. Are they Gumbas with masks on? God, God, I think they are. Sadistic Gumbas. I thought that was the uh, the bell at the end then. I could have ended badly. Under or over? Let's go. Let's go over. <laughs> Towards the vampire. Nice. Uh, what did you think of Castlevania: The Adventure Rebirth? That's pretty much the last classic. Class of classic Vania, I've yet to be given it, it is really, really good. Um, I played through if you've played Castlevania Adventure on, on Game Boy, which I have and beaten, um, which I didn't actually mind, but that's like ages ahead of it. It's, it's so good, looks good, sounds good, plays good. Yeah, give it a go. The last level is really hard, but it's worth it. I think it's up there, definitely. But yeah, you have got to find a way to play it right. On WiiWare, you can get you can download the WiiWare still off the interwebs as long as Nintendo hasn't taken it down. <laughs> yeah, really good. Actually, yeah, I like the adventure on Game Boy a lot, but it might be Stockholm Sim. See, I I enjoyed it, but that them last levels with them spikes, they they were freaking hard. But, um. I didn't like it as much as I liked Belmont's Revenge, the second one on Game Boy. I played Belmont's Revenge first, so it was a bit of a downgrade from that, a bit of a step backwards, but it's still a good experience. It's funny how many stupidly difficult games seem alright once you beat them. That's 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 true. Because you learn all the little secrets, right? Makes it bearable. What are they? Because when you're playing it, you're like, oh, I hate this so much. And then you're like, oh, wait a minute, it was my me all along. <laughs> Can I go up there? Oh, no, it's a trap. Been eaten by a fish. <laughs> Go away. Oh, this is torturing me. Look, must be this way. Yeah, I set up the WiiWare so I could play Mega Man. Nine, Mega Man Nine. I think it's Mega Man Nine, because it plays better on there than it does on the uh, Xbox. It's on the Legacy Collections as well. If you've got Switch, or whatever. But um, yeah, I played it on on the Wii. I like the controls. Oh, bollocks. Don't think I need to go that way. Ah, oh, dead now. I feel like Belmont's Revenge is clearly a better game from most objective metrics, but the adventure forced me to spend a lot more time with it. And as a result, I grew an attachment. Yeah, that's Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> no, it was alright. It was just, um... I don't know. There, there, was jank, there was a lot of jank in near the end of Adventure. Like, I can see why people wouldn't like it. I can definitely see why people wouldn't like that. I played the um, the Belmont's Revenge, not the black and white one. I played the 
the colorized version on one of the it's on one of the collections Konami collection 4 I think it is um, and they, they, they made it really look really good actually they fully colorized it Get those in the states. I believe. What the Konami collections? I, I, I haven't got a copy of that. I haven't got a copy of Bandwidth's uh, Revenge either because uh, it's very expensive at the moment. I don't think I've seen a copy of the collection anywhere. I've seen the, the first and second Konami collections, but not the fourth. All that life. Ah, uh, guess I'm not getting the life in this. So I can get rid of those ghosts. No, not worth it. <laughs> oh, I can go. I can do this. Of course I can. Oh, denied. It's a trick. Yeah, Rebirth, def definitely, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely get on that. Man. That's probably one of the best ones I've played, actually, you know. Of the, of the classic ones. I prefer the classic ones, anyway. I prefer the classic ones over the Metroidvania ones. to go in this way. Oh no, I don't think I can do this. Because you, you've got to do the spin jump and you can't do it with the, rab the rabbit. I don't think. If you can, I can't do it. Ah, oh, fuck, it takes some damage. I can do it. met with death. A secret route out. Okay, you got to do level again. I've also heard really good things about Contra Rebirth. I, I didn't try that one. I, I'm terrible at Contra games. But yeah, they. I did try the Adventure Island remake on Wii, but I didn't. I didn't like the art style in that. I didn't. I didn't like it. It was kind of pseudo 3D. I didn't. I didn't like it. They should really re-release those. Yeah, no, they didn't even put it on the collections. Like the most recent collections, they they skipped it. I don't know why. Missing the trick, because it's really good. What's below me? I don't know what's below me. Is it gonna go? I mean, there we go. That's the end. Oh, we missed. What, what have we missed then? <laughs> We've gone too far. this level again but we have to find the proper exit because that was a secret exit Oh, 
interesting palette, the Super Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, it's a default for this game. I haven't played around with them. I just I stuck with the default one. The grass is green. And the pumpkins are orange. So it's got that right, I guess. There is a DX version of this if you wanted something um, more colourful. Yeah, there's a, there is a Super Mario Land. I don't know if it's official. I think it might be a like a fan-made thing. But there's a ROM for, for a DX version of ROM. Yeah, I wanted to use my real cartridge. Fan-made. Yeah, it, uh, Corona sent it to me. I'd say that was weird, fleshy pink. <laughs> Close enough. I uh, didn't know about the DX version, but that's good. Yeah, it's, it's, it looks really nice. It is just a colorized, well, as Space Robot Arm says, it's a fan made one, but it's, it's decent. So, yeah, if you're going to emulate anyway, you may as well do the DX version. Must be the correct right way out. Oh, how do we get up there? Goals the the bells all the way at the top. Must have to go on the rooftops. <laughs> I guess you can use EverDrive. We use real hardware on the ROM. I could have done that too. Game Boy ever drives. The ghost of a Gumba. Ain't seen them before. Flash and really disappear, I can't tell. I think I'll stick with firepower at the moment. This is the boon, is like wearing the corpse of a Goomba. Uh, on the SNES Ever Drive, is it? I don't know, can you play Game Boy games off the SNES Ever Drive? I guess you can. I think you can. I've got a, I've got a Game Boy Ever Drive as well. So I guess you could do either. I guess you cut out the middleman of the uh, Super Game Boy if you do it that way. I usually use the, the Game Boy player on GameCube for, for Game Boy stuff, but I, I didn't want to set it up today, so I just used... NT, because it's already connection, connected. Can the FX Pack Pro, I don't think you can on the Super Aero Drive though. Oh really? That's a bit disappointed. Damn it. I ended up having to get an FX Pack Pro because I wanted to play all the Mega Man games and they've got special chips in them. The X games. 
It's got save states on the FX Pack Pro as well, but it's got really bad UI. Like to actually load and save is, is terrible. It doesn't work for all the games either. It's a little bit disappointing. Okay, last stage in Pumpkin Zone. You can do a lot of wild stuff. <laughs> Watch me. what kind of wild stuff. I just liked it for the, the games with chip support. Support. Otherwise, the regular one would have been fine because like, the save states don't work properly anyway. So I won't even. Not even worth bothering with them. Uh, only it only has save states with homebrew firmware. No, FX Pack Pro has a has it built in now, but uh, they don't work very well. So I think you want save states. You can't have Super Game Boy. You can play Stellar Satella View games on the FX Pack Pro. All oh, right, I haven't even tried that. Yeah, I got it for the chip support, but it does. It, I think the latest firmware does have states with some games. It don't work with all the games, so I've, I've tried it. I think it worked on Mystical Ninja. But yeah, I think it's game dependent. Just notice they're cauldrons. I think I'm, I hope I'm not bullshitting. I, th I think it is because I've, I've tried it and I haven't got a custom firmware of mine, as far as I'm aware. Like Fantasia in there. room. No. <laughs> it's a trap room. <laughs> sneaky sneaky. I've got to pick the right exit now then. Oh, they tormented me with the money bags. Well, here are all the things you could have had. Got that one. I've just noticed there's a maximum of 999 coins. Does that mean you've got to go use the slot machines? Use them or lose them. There is a slot machine. I'll go get it after this. Toast. It's like MSU one ROM hacks on FX Pack Pro as well. I do a lot then. Thanks, GG. Yeah, I need to explore more of what I can do with it. What games use that then? I think what hacks use that? Media streaming unit revision. Not even looked into it. Okay, that's another one done. Uh, we need to use some coins. Oh, we've got a statue. Right, I need to go to the the, the hill. It's here. 
Should we just go, should we just blow them all on 999? Yeah, this is, this is the 999. It's guaranteed lives, right? 51 ups. Whew. Come on, let's try and get that. How lucky would I be to get 51 ups? 20. Sweet. I'll take that. 45 lives, baby. <laughs> My favourite use of MSU1 was playing uh, Donkey Kong Country 3, the soundtrack from the Game Boy Advance. Oh, that kind of hack then. Nice. I have to look into that. Yeah, I haven't really used it, used that for that much, use it that much for um, other stuff apart from, like I said, <laughs> Mega Man X and X2. I do think is it X? No, it's X2 and 3, which needs this chip support, isn't it? Oh, I went the wrong way. This is the we can't go in here yet. We need two more, two more things. This is Wario's castle. Uh, also, Legend of Zelda of an English dub of the broadcasted audio. Audio. BS Legend of Zelda. <laughs> English dub of the broadcasted audio. What do you mean the broadcasted audio? You want about? No, I went about the, the cartoon or something, are you? I'll broadcast that. I don't know. <laughs> I have literally no knowledge about that console whatsoever. That is not something I've delved into. Oh, nice. Need to go to Mario's brain. Need to enter through his butthole. branched out into the satellite view or anything yet. I probably shouldn't. I've got so many things on the backlog already. I haven't even streamed from some, from some of my consoles yet. I've got um, a Freedio over there I haven't streamed from yet. And I've got a bunch of Atari Jaguar stuff I want to play. It's finding the time. Add-on for the Super Famicom that downloaded games via satellite. Ooh. Japan only, I assume. Mega Drive had something like that, didn't it, to download games? Japan only, yeah. Yeah, Sega Channel, that's right. That's the one. I've got one of the games that was on the Sega Channel. Was it uh, Fatal Labyrinth? Codename Modern was telling me about it. Another retro streamer. stuff was going to happen. I heard of the game Radical Dreamers, uh, like visual novel sequel to Chrono Trigger, that was a Cecil of you game. No, I haven't. I haven't played um, Chrono Trigger, I know you're big into the RPGs. I haven't played that many RPGs, I'll admit. I played some action RPGs, but not many like JRPGs and that lot. This can't Pokemon. I played loads of Pokemon. <laughs> Pigs are back. Oh, 
What kind of part of Mario are we in now? Counts. That's all I've got. I've played all of them. <laughs> Pretty much all of them. One from every generation. I'm sad to find that some of my, um, I think silver it was, lost all my, my progress. The battery died and I had to swap it over. I, rescu I rescued what I can in like the Pokemon Bank and all those like transfer services you've got. I never found my Zapdos though, it's my favourite. Zapdos is lost forever. Was that, was that a one up? No, it was a mushroom. Go behind door number four. I didn't choose that bad. Maximum lives is I'm on like 40, aren't I? Alright, we're going in this mouth. <coughs> Excuse me. My battery for Pokemon Silver died too. Original battery for Red is still. Yeah, that's, that's that's exactly what I found. My Pokemon Blue battery was fine. My Pokemon Silver battery was not fine. <laughs> yeah, is they're not. I'd say they're they're quite difficult to to do unless you like. Have solder experience, aren't they? To swap, because you literally have to desolder. It's not like the batteries just come out. You have to actually desolder and swap the entire thing. I've done my silver. I haven't done like I tested blue and I still had enough voltage to, to work. So I didn't do that one, but I, I think I'm gonna have to do them all at some point. Because of the real-time clock in, in Golden Cell, I use more power, does it? Yeah, is it just for save battery for blue and red? Yeah. Because I've, I've swapped it now. I think they're good for like... I don't know how, how good they're long for, like 20 years, is it? I don't know. They're easy, I think they're easy to test. You have to put your um, use your multimeter, see if the voltage is what three point five or something. I, I think it's three point five, three point four five, something like that. Thanks for following. Appreciate it. Uh, shall I get? The, shall I keep the firepower or take the carrot? Gonna then. Oh, I haven't got firepower anymore. <laughs> it 
It's one of these grabby hands in, um... Oh, I jumped up, didn't mean to do that. It's one of these grab grabbers in uh, Mr. Gimmick and it lowers you over a spike pit and it drops you in. If you're not expecting it. Free lives. Woo! Uh, I have NES carts with the original battery that still work, so who can really say how long they're actually good for? Whatever the original battery manufacturer said, it's probably a conservative estimate. It's probably not a lot of real world data for how long a video game or cartridge save battery can actually be expected to last. Yeah. In some, in some things, they do die quicker, so the batteries I've had dead. It's been Pokemon Silver, Dreamcast, that didn't last very long. Um, they're rechargeable ones, though, so I don't know why it died. Philips CDI, that needed a change. Um, can't think of any other games though. I've got, I got this game the other day. I got Pirates, which has a save battery, so I opened it up. I haven't tested that one yet. That has a save battery as well. I assume it works because I put it on and there was a, a game on there. Uh, Freddy Goddash, thanks for streaming. Catch you again soon. Thanks, Freddy, and thank you for the raid again. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Have a good day. Do Master System and Mega Drive have batteries? Some games do. Um, what's the game I've got? Actually, I'm not sure about Master System, because they most of them have passwords. There, there must be one. But I've definitely got some Mega Drive games with batteries in. I'm trying to think of his name. It's an RPG. It's called... It's not Fantasy Star, is it? Does that have a, a safe battery? I know one of them, one, one, one of the ones I've got has a big booklet and it's got a, a save battery as well. But yeah, some of them do. Alright, we're going to go into the Mario's brain. His brain is full of Lego. Star has to have a save feature. Yeah, I think it does. I could find it, but it's. I think I've buried it on the second row because I ran out of space. I'd go into two rows again. <laughs> but yeah, I think it does. Um, this game has an eerie feeling to it from time to time. The, the, you mean like the pumpkin levels? There's like Goombas with um, Jason masks, and knives in their heads. Still cheerful though. Even the pumpkin levels had like cheerfully music. Oh. Burn. Oh no! I lost my power. That's my fault. I wasn't expecting the pig to jump down like that. This is it. 
three three pigs, three hits each? I assume so. Oh, that one jumps. Oh no! Knackered that up, didn't I? What's he gonna do? It's a big old jump. Oh, idiot. <laughs> Oops. I'm gonna have a mushroom this time. Have you beaten this game before? No. No, this is the first time all the way through. Oh no! I'm gonna die now. Yeah, this is my first time through. I've, I've played like bits of like the first. <laughs> Stay at the left. I've played bits of the first one. <laughs> Did you? No, I played bits, bits of the first stage in this, but not all the way through. So never seen these piggy levels before. Okay, this time we are not gonna mess up. We're gonna kill this pig. Ugh. Have some steamed hams. Oh fuck. I need to get better than that. I mean it's probably fine. Time and issue, it's me. One. <laughs> it's so easy to go wrong. I missed time my jump. I know. Luckily the game is very generous with lives. 45. Watch me lose all of them. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Why do I have to open my mouth? One though, fanciest of all of them. One, uh, two. Oh, I knew it was gonna happen. I gotta do a run and jump because you get more air. I got longer to correct myself on the way down then. This time, we're not going to lose our uh, mushroom going <laughs> past that Goomba. Was it? Well, I read someone that said was asking what they thought the, the enemy of the highest body count was, and it's the Goomba at the beginning of Mario One. Because <laughs> just, everyone just runs across and just gets killed by it. And Goombas are cold-blooded killers. One down. I think the, bounce, the second, the middle bouncy one is, is probably the. I'm gonna shut up. I was about to say it's the easiest one of all three forms. And then I got killed. <laughs> I should just be quiet. One. Fuck. Two. No. No. Three. 
cut in the end. <laughs> okay. That's the, the fifth. Fifth coin. Making good progress. What we were on two, two hours. Thanks, Emil. Right, that was done. Um, we don't need to get more lives at the moment. So. Oh, hello. Turtle zone. Sweet, right. Save the water level till last. Unintentionally, of course. If you can jump on fish underwater, I'm not sure if you can. Can you can you crush them from above? I can't actually remember. I think you can. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sick of that. Turn around. Yeah. Just want to face the other direction, right? I might him. jump on this. Can I jump on the fish, though? Is the question. Can I jump on the. That shark's got like a back leg that looks like Yoshi. Is it eating Yoshi? Or is his fist? <laughs> kind of like Yoshi's face. Maybe just me. There must be a secret door down there. We're okay for lives, so I don't really need to do the secret ones at the moment. Oh, oh! I didn't know you could miss out on everything. I thought you could. I thought you always guaranteed a prize. That's sad. Imagine a shark and a boxing gloves. <laughs> can beat up your corpse when it's done with eating you. Nice. All right, second stage of Turtle Zone. We are on a sub. were boxing gloves, right? Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't tell what they were. <laughs> it looked like Yoshi's body on the side. I mean, I would say it makes sense, but sharks are in boxing gloves. Wait, they don't even have hands. <laughs> What's going on there? be at the final castle soon. It's exciting, isn't it? I wonder how difficult it is. It's on the box art as well. Did I just not notice? I think I used to have a sticker from that, of that, because I, I had the, um... Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Why did I notice that? The box is right in front of me. Nice. I used to have a sticker of that. There used to be, um, there was a time when the cereal packets could be like Nintendo characters on the front. It was like Cubit stickers and Mario Land stickers. All sorts. Got the 
obvious, obvious way. Set off. <laughs> he probably won't come in. He's probably gonna go straight to Minecraft. Because I had the TV yesterday, I was playing Hell Divers and he got annoyed. See if we can add to my life collection. No, that do though. Get my power up. Oh yeah. Final bit of turtle zone is this? I think it might be. Then we're going to Wario's castle. Are we inside the whale? <laughs> it's got a lot of tonsils. Didn't know whales had that many tonsils. Oh, fuck. What's like the jelly stuff at the beginning? I think I'll take. I think I'll take the uh, the um, rabbit is. If you click directly without thinking, I think you are guaranteed to get free lives, I think. Or just like straight away instantly, if you press the button. How so? Because it... Isn't it randomised? I thought it was randomised. I didn't know that you'd um, be guaranteed anything to try it. Because the items come out in a different pattern every time, don't they? against the fish. Okay, so we're going to come out in pots. Crab? Sea snake? Eel? Squid. Slangum was a like little ants with wings. <laughs> ants can fly. Yeah, this one, yeah. I watched a playthrough of Alex Kid Miracle World the other day. I was curious how hard it got. I kind of want to play it. I've, I haven't touched it for years. It was really tough back in the day. I was investigating games I could play as part of the challenge that I could beat really quick. I'm not sure if that's one of them. But yeah, the castle is open, so we can go to the Wario's castle now. So we've got 40 lives to do this. If we lose all the lives, we'd have to uh, do all the bosses again. Right, I'm not saying that's not going to happen. <laughs> Depends how hard it's going to be, but we'll see. Let's go for this. We've got a chance of 1-up or 20-up. It's going to be 1-up, isn't it, for 200 coins. It's going to rip off. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so we go to the castle. It 
is. It's the final countdown. If we're not cheerful anymore. Blech. Always jinxing it like a muffin. Europe is from sweet. What? Europe is from Sweden. What's that mean? I am always jinxing it. You're right. I've got 45 lives. This is this is a pretty good number. I lost a thing. And this is going to be a really long gauntlet and there's not going to be any I don't reckon there'll be any like bells and stuff on the way so uh, the, the final countdown with Europe the band Europe is from Sweden oh is it? I don't know the name of the band <laughs> I wonder how tough this car is I, I read that this, the game is quite straightforward all the way through until you get to this castle and it's uh, like ramps up. I don't know if that's true. I should have went on that. I was chicken down. I wish I had rabbit ears. the band I read Europe is from Sweden and my brain shut off yeah same here <laughs> oh fuck now what warrior's fist I need to run up this is a way to kill it stop it Oh, there's traps. I need to jump over them, don't I? Next time. I remember their next next time. I remember they're there. Oh. Whew. Next room. No bells. No checkpoints. I guess. Ah. Okay, I need to do little jumps, I think. It's gonna be hard. Uh, little jumps, do they disappear though? Is the question. I think they will do. I'm gonna hold jump as well. I think I'm gonna need to jump. They move upwards, don't they? Okay. All right, more traps. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> oh fuck. Ah, got hit. <laughs> That's supposed to be Wario's face, I think it is. I've already seen his fists. Alright, that's that. Oh no, I got hit. I think I'll get hit again, that'll be, uh, do the level again, right? That was lucky. What? 
Yeah. Give me, give me some power. Give me some sweet power ups, please. Oh fuck, we're here. There he is. Look. Okay, son of a bitch. Wait, gotta jump. Oh, I messed up. Oh, all right. I'm terrible at timing these. I got to Wario. I gotta do the entire stage again. Oh, there's no checkpoint. Okay. Damn it. Alright, this is this one big gauntlet, isn't it? I feared that would be the case. But we saw the boss, that's, that's, that's a good sign, I guess. Oh, that's a hard bit. I think that was <laughs> that was probably my best shot at it, and I blew it. Only had to jump on Wario's head. That's a pain in the butt. I'm so close. It'd be nice to start the level with uh, power ups, wouldn't it? I don't know how to do that. Go on another level, maybe? Next one. I think this would be a lot easier with rabbit ears, wouldn't it? Uh, it's the next room with the fist, isn't it? Is that middle block, I think? Okay, that was easier, because I, I skipped the, the fist coming down. Oh! <laughs> I should have done it. I shouldn't have done the running jump. I should have done the normal jump. Okay, well, that room's easier, because we can skip the, uh, the fists. We don't get fisted by Wario. I knew that for I can't believe that first time we actually got to Wario. All the obstacles down. I fucked it up. Legitimately my first attempt as well. Never 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 played this one before.
This bit. Alright, I need to do a running jump. Maybe not on this one though. Normal jumps on them ones. Normal jump. I only just made it with normal jump, but it was alright ish. This bit, I got really lucky this last time. So I got to do little jumps and run. Made it. This bit's fine. It's the standard dropping ones. I'm really shaking. <laughs> I don't know why I'm shaking. Do you feel like I can use a uh, fire flower on Wario? Oh, it's these, yeah, these ones. I think these are quite hard. I don't know why they're hard, though. They shouldn't be, but I think it's when there's two in the room. You get bombarded with them. And you got to try and hit them when they're out of sync. They're messed up. You know what I mean? When they're, when they're in, in sync, it's hard to hit one without getting hit by the other. Oh yes, uh, one more. I'm hoping I'll get a good power up in the next room. <sighs> Do you think we can fire flower Wario to death? I think it takes more hits though. I'm gonna try it. Right, just, just do the. Oh no, it got me. So the balls don't hurt you unless they land on you. It's free. You run away. You get a carrot. That's going. <laughs> Could I have a heart attack. Right. Oh no, he's getting upgraded. <laughs> One. I messed up. I lost nothing. <laughs> More? Yeah, he's going. He's going again. There's a mushroom up there. Uh, it doesn't really help me right now. Oh shit! You don't want to hit me with that. Oh no! One. Oh, you backstabbing twat! Oh, he's getting me in the middle finger as well. So close. <laughs> I do it again. That I, I I think I got really lucky on that one. That was probably the last form because there's no more upgrades, is there? There's only rabbit ears and there's only rabbit ears and uh, fire flowers. So that was probably his last form. And you had to hit him three times. All right, I, I'm really shaken. We did it that time, we can do it again. We can do it again. It's Mario, yeah. I think if we kept the bunny ears in that second thing, I think we would have been fine, because I could have... I could have hovered down and, um... 
could have jumped over the fireballs and hovered down to his head, I think we would have been fine, but I, I, I lost it, didn't I? This time, though, I'm going to keep it all this time. Super Mario and Super Wario. <laughs> Felt so close. I'm on 40 lives. Do you think I can do it in 40 lives? I've got 40 attempts. Upset of the century if I can't do it. Long level, isn't it? To Keep doing over and over again. Gives you fire fire flower because you can't. Um, no, nah, it's the first time I've gone wrong on that. You can't uh, shoot anything. There's nothing to shoot on this level. It's still impressive. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It looks really good. This is yeah, this is this is final stage. It's got to be I'm fighting Wario. I got to the third stage of Wario. It's literally two hits off killing him. I think. I think it's three hits to kill him. Definitely harder than the rest of the game, isn't it? Ah, oh, bollocks. I messed up now. I was waiting for the fireball to go past. cutesy graphics of the other levels. This is, uh, serious. Really? I'll take that. Oh yeah. That was lucky. Why did it do that? Nice. It gave me that. That was that was that was a nice bonus. All right, it's giving me a fighting chance. Let's go, you son of a bitch. I'll stay away from the disco balls. No. Fucker got me. Twice. Oh no! That was the best chance I had. 
because it let me from it let me go through with a star. Damn it. I wonder why it gave me a star. Did it feel sorry for me. The game pitied me. It looks easy, but when he's running at you and you're under pressure, it's not not easy. On it three times. Fuck. Just too impatient. I need to wait for that one next time. I'll learn it. I get another pity star. jump. <laughs> Luckily he made it. Come on then, give me a pity star. Oh, it's the next room, isn't it? Right, I want a pity, I want a pity star. Because it makes those Wario heads a breeze. Kill this one first. No pity stars this time. I wonder why it appeared last time. I didn't do anything different. I didn't do anything special. Whew. Yeah, I think the only issue in here is, is timing, isn't it? The timing of trying to get one head without getting hit by the other. Makes it very tricky. And I think you're safer in the left corner. More so than the right corner. Okay, we're okay. Back on to Wario. How many attempts is this? It's four or five. It's one hit. Fuck. And there's Throne. All right, I got him. Next room. We'll try and keep this power up for the third. Hopefully, I think it'll be the final form. I'm gonna just jump and try and two, three. I think that might be it. He's crying. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wario is defeated! Yes! Thank you for the GG!
Jesus Christ, I'm shaking so much. <laughs> oh, sweet. Two and a half hours. I think I've done it. Is that going to flip? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, so good. Oh, drama queen, I'm excited. This is good. <laughs> wow. I love that. That was a hard level. Hey, Sanarkin, how's it going? Thank you for the GG. Oh, roll credits. Sweet. Uh, to be honest, I think I was the same when I played this, shaking and sweating. <laughs> it's because there's no checkpoint before the boss, so you've got to do that whole gauntlet and then not mess up. It's very easy to mess up. <laughs> oh wow, really happy with that. Been looking at felt the congratulations and said, oh thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's a man's look. Oh sweet, that's another one for the list. Let me pull the list up. He put his finger up my ass, <laughs> squashed. <laughs> If I was a hey. bee, where would I be? Conquer's bad fur day. I can add that to the list now, so it's um Super Mar Mario I can't type, I'm too shaky, I'm I'm shaking too much. Six golden coins. Game Boy, and it's March 8th. And that was game number 18. The, of the year. The second one is one of the nice ones. Agreed. Very pleasant, happy game. Very nice. <laughs> I'm really, really shaking. I can't stop. Have you beaten all the land? I haven't beaten Mario Land 1 either. That's another one where I just like sometimes play it casually, but don't play it all the way through. Um, but I beat uh, Mario, uh, Mario Land 4. Um, yeah, just Mario Land 4. I played number 3, but I didn't beat it. I've got them all. They're, they're pretty good. Mario Land, like Super Mario Land 3, which is Mario Land 1, you're starting like a house. Yeah, I beat the one on the Game Boy Advance. It's really good. Very wacky. Oh, breathe. Calm. Calm. It's actually a good time to, um, to call it a day, I think. Someone, I never. I don't normally. This is a bonus stream today. I don't normally stream this time of day. Uh, so there's a few people on, but not many. Let me see. Let's see who's, who's live in retro. Let's see what's in the new new people in the retro channel. Uh, I hope to own Mario Land Free Wario Land one day. I think it costs. Probably a little bit more than the modern game does. I don't think it's that much, but it's, it's quite a lot compared to other Game Boy games. I can, I can barely move my, my hands. My hands are shaking so much. Very chill and kind dude. Swede. Well, I, I, I'll have a look. If they don't find a smaller streamer, we'll, we'll, we'll do that one. suggestion what do you suggest Emil let's do it all right we're gonna raid out to Hampy Strange I think he's playing Pokemon Snap I'm not sure but Emil suggested this <laughs> so say hi when we get there never never raid them before I trust Emil's judgment 
Um, thanks everyone for hanging out. I'm so glad we beat Mario Land 2. That was that was awesome. Really, really good. Um, I won't be streaming this weekend, I don't think, because we're doing D&D tomorrow night, and yeah, so it'll probably be uh, Monday when I'm next on. Uh, I need to pick something to play. I think I need to get a Discord up and running so we can plan what to play in advance. I probably will do that at some point. Like, I was trying to set one up and I was like, there's no point. There's no one, no one's going to be here, but maybe I will. So, um, I'll see how, if I have time. Thank you for the GG board game, Heaven. Appreciate it. And yeah, thanks everyone, we're gonna raid out now. I'm pressing the button. Have a great weekend, everyone. Right, press the button. Bye-bye.